So I've just come back from seeing Paul Cartledge speak at the Edinburgh International Book Festival and afterwards I of course got my book signed by him which is Democracy A Life. This is basically a history of the invention of and development of democracy since antiquity and the different forms it took and the way we understood it. But what the scenario <laughs> inspired me to do was to film a video showing you all of my signed books. I thought that might be a little bit of fun given that I just got in this book signed. Now I have to confess I'm not crazy about signed books. Generally speaking it's not very important to me and I certainly don't particularly care if a book's signed in a bookshop before I buy it. So most of the books I have here I met the author and got them to sign it which I think is a slightly different experience. The signed book is just a physical memory of not just the contents of the book but an event in my life, a meeting of an author, hearing them speak and it just conjures up really nice feelings for me. Although three of the books I have here I was not there for the author signing them, I have met the authors that signed them and they just generally stand out to me as signed books that I have memories of so I thought I'd share them with you. I think there are other signed books scattered throughout my collection but like I mentioned they're probably books I picked up in a bookshop that had just been mass signed which is very kind of the author to do but like I said it's just not a very special memory which is why I wanted to share with you these ones. Like I said I just got Democracy of Life signed by Paul Cartledge and his talk at the Edinburgh Book Festival was absolutely superb. He's just a really fantastic speaker. He's the kind of speaker I would aspire to be one day but I'm sure I will never live up to and I was really pleased to get him to sign his book because I think it's a really fascinating book. So he very kindly of course signed my book in here. And another book I got signed at the book festival as an adult is The Crane Wife by Patrick Ness. Now, I went to see Patrick Ness at the book festival a couple of years ago with Katie and Nicola. It wasn't terribly long after I'd started booktubing and um, I started making all these wonderful bookish friends and it was a really nice thing to do because it was the first time I'd gone to see something at the book festival as an adult with friends. So that was a really lovely experience and I also really enjoyed hearing Patrick Ness speak. He's another person that is just a very fascinating person to listen to. And I think hearing Patrick Ness speak made me like him so much more than I already did because he was just such an interesting person to listen to and he actually wrote a nice little sentence and it just says for Jean who said nice things which is nice I like I like when someone signs your book and adds a little little bit of something extra but the next book I was not there for the author signing of and that is the bookshop book by Jen Campbell um, this book Jen actually sent to me around the time of its release before we were friends, uh, before Jen even made booktube videos, although not long before she started making booktube videos shortly after that and she got in touch and asked if she could send me her book I'd already read Weird Things Customers Say in Bookshops 1 and 2 and thoroughly enjoyed them so of course I said yes and she was kind enough to sign it before sending it to me which was lovely and do you know what, this is just a nice little token as well of what I feel like was the beginning of a very wonderful friendship in my life so yeah, that was really nice and I like that I've got that memory in this book and this sp specific copy. Although Jen, if it does ever become worth any money, I will sell it at the drop of a hat. <laughs> now the next book again, I was not there for the signing of and I actually pre-ordered a signed copy and that is The False Star Stars by John Green. Now this was a time in my life when I was not reading really at all. I was in my first years at university, I'd already gotten out of the habit of reading a lot recreationally at the end of high school but one thing I was still doing a lot of was watching a lot of YouTube and I watched the Vlogbrothers and this was the first time I'd been watching the Vlogbrothers and John Green had released a book at the same time and he promised that anybody who pre-ordered a copy of the book would get a signed copy and he was making loads of videos about signing the books and kind of the arm cramp and everything like that and if you watch the videos at the time you'll know what I was talking about but I asked my parents to pre-order me a copy for my Christmas and this is one of the books that got me back into reading. I get that John Green's not for everybody and he is you know he's he's no homer but both of the books I have read by him this and Looking for Alaska have come to me at times in my life exactly when I needed them and I really appreciate them for that so this one does have a special meaning to me because maybe I wouldn't have pre-ordered it if they hadn't been making such a big deal about signing it online and maybe I wouldn't have gone back into reading if I hadn't had it. Obviously it's not personalised or anything like that but 
yeah, a really fond memory. And I have actually subsequently met John Green just once when Sana from Books and Quills was kind enough to take me as her plus one to a Paper Towns event. And yeah, I met the man himself and that was very nice and a nice addition to the whole memory even though it was a few years later. Before I get into the three children's books I have here, the last adult book I have is A Brief History of Seven Killings by Marlon James, the winner of last year's Man Booker Prize. And you'll know probably that last year I was one of the official Man Booker vloggers and I went to a few Man Booker events and I got to see Marlon James speak and I even, you know, got to exist in the same room as him next to him prior to his winning. <laughs> I also really wanted him to win. He was the author I was rooting for the whole time and I was really pleased when he did win. And this is not actually the copy I read because after the winner was announced, uh, the people at Man Booker were kind enough to send me and the other vloggers signed copies of his book. So I have a nice signed copy here to remember that adventure with. But like I said, the next three books are all children's books, so these are all books I got signed as a child and I got them all signed at the Edinburgh International Book Festival. Lots of fond memories there. And the first one is Girls in Tears by Jacqueline Wilson. I'm sure you're all familiar with Jacqueline Wilson. She is a prolific author for children, but she deals with such harrowing and important subjects in her books. And her books were very special and important to me as a child. And I adored her Girls series. This came to me at a really important time in my life. I took all of the first three out of the library, but then when we saw that she was coming to the book festival to talk about the latest one, I got my own copy and she signed it for me. It's just here, it's quite small. Jean. Love Jacqueline Wilson. Um, and now actually one of the funny things I've realised is that Jacqueline Wilson went to the university I'm currently doing my PhD at. So that's pretty cool. The next book is quite beat up and it's this paperback and it's been in the attic with all my ch childhood books. And this is Three Indian Princesses by Jamila Gavin. Now I adored Jamila Gavin when I was a little girl. I think I was maybe around eight or nine when I read her books. And there was another one as well, which I think was called Three Indian Goddesses. I do have a copy of it, but isn't signed. And I went to see her talk at the book festival, two other authors, and I can't recall who the third one was, but one of them was Philip Pullman. And I hadn't read any Philip Pullman at the time. I had gone specifically to see this event because I was in love with Jamila Gavin, but my friend at school loved Philip Pullman, so our parents took us to see that together because obviously there was an author there for both of us. But essentially these books are retellings of Hindu tales by Jamila Gavin, and yeah, these were just really, really precious to me as a child, some of my favourites. I remember just having such a wonderful day that day I went to see her speak. But lastly, another childhood favourite was the Pure Dead series by Debbie Glory. This one, I think, is maybe the third one in the series, and it's Pure Dead Wicked. And this was just another spectacularly eccentric fantasy series set in our world but following a kind of mad family, a bit like the Adams family. And they were so funny and imaginative and really captured me as a child. And I remember going to see her and really enjoying it and getting her to sign my book. And that's that there. And these books went on for quite a long time, so they were just quite a long standing part of my childhood. But those are all of the books that I have signed that are special to me and that I remember having signed. But I hope you enjoyed this random little video. If you have a special signed book, that you own, then do let me know what it is down below or if there's any authors that you would love to meet, I'd also love to hear. I know an author I always wish I'd met was Terry Pratchett, but maybe still living, I would really love to maybe meet Mary Beard and get her to sign one of my books in the future. Or Kate Tempest. And somebody I regret not getting to sign a copy of my book when I met him was John Burnside. That was silly. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.